Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tim, AKA Tim with Geeked Up Gaming. I've tried to record this three times now and I keep saying AKA because I'm so used to doing Twitch and trying to come back to the YouTube format. Anyways, today we're gonna be looking at Sunny Day Sardines. Now this one does not say Sunny Day Sardines because it is a copy that came out before the name change and before some of the edits on the cards. So some of the stuff that you're gonna see in here and what I'm gonna show you is not gonna look the same as what you would see in the Sunny Day Sardines ever since it got picked up from the publisher. Uh, so this game is by Jeremiah, and I'm gonna have to read this because I forget. It is ages 12 and up, two to four players, and plays in about 15 minutes. Me and the wife and the kids have gotten really quick at playing it, so it actually wraps up in about five to 10 minutes. We've shaved off that five minute mark off the of 15. But for first time players, about 15 minutes is all you're gonna need. So let's go ahead and head over to the table. Let's open up this little tin and show you guys what's inside and what to uh, anticipate when getting sunny day sardines. so here you can see that we have the tin of sardines uh ages 12 to up and two to four players in 15 minutes so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we have inside the box pretty straightforward it looks like it's gonna be all cards and i keep saying that like i haven't played the game but i've played this game uh a few times so we've got our rule sheets so you got page one two three and four they're pretty straightforward and easy to follow and then you have your sardine cards you're going to have your different fish color types on the uh, back front front part of the card and then say sardines on the back side so during game setup you're actually going to take these sardines uh, and get them all separated away from the sardine orders which right here you'll see sardine order printed on the back of the card and then what it's going to take to acquire this card so let's go ahead and go over to the table to show you guys what it's going to take to set the game up and how to play. All right, so let's talk about the setup for Sunny Day Sardines. First thing you're gonna do, separate your sardines and your sardine orders, and then you're gonna place each deck face down, as we've done here. Uh, you wanna make sure that you leave enough table space by each deck to allow five to six cards to be placed. Also leave enough space for sardine card discard pile. So what we'll do is we'll just have a discard pile up here. So when we use our sardines, we could just put them right next to the deck. And then when we need to, we can shuffle it and put it back. Uh, what you'll want to do next is deal two sardine cards to each player to form their starting hand of cards. Your hand is to be kept secret from other players, but you may look at your hand cards freely. So here I've already given myself two cards. Those are going to be right here for me uh, to look at anytime I want, but secret from all my other from all the other players. And then once you've dealt those two cards to each player, then you're going to set up uh, your sardine market, uh, which is an unofficial term that I'm just using. <clears throat> uh, right here, so you'll put out your five cards and you'll place them face up next to the sardine deck. And then you would go over to the sardine orders. You would draw one card for each player from the top of the order deck and place each of them face up by the order deck. So uh, this is a two player simulation. So we've got one for each player plus one to start out. So now we'll talk about how to play. So play moves clockwise with each player taking a turn performing any one of two available actions. You can either gather sardines or complete an order. So if I was looking at my hand, I can see that I don't have enough sardines to complete any of those orders. I'd have to come over here, accumulate what I need to get over there and try to beat the other players to those. So when you're gathering sardines, you can take any two face up sardines of your choice from the table and place the cards into your hand. You may take a single card with two sardines on it or up to two cards with a single sardine on it. As you take each sardine card, immediately draw a new sardine card from the top of the sardine deck to replenish the card just taken. So if I take this blue one, I'd put it in my hand and immediately replace it with a new sardine. 
If you have more than six cards in your hand after taking sardine cards from the table, discard down to six by placing the cards of your choice face up in the sardine discard pile. So let's say if I did have more than six, they would go up here in the discard pile or wherever you choose that your discard pile is going to be placed. To complete an order, each order card displays two to four sardines on them. Each sardine on the card is one of the following colors, blue, green, orange, pink, white, or white with multicolored fins. Complete a face-up sardine order card by discarding the appropriate amount and correctly colored sardines to the sardine card discard pile. So if we were looking at this order here, we would need two pink, two blue. So on my turn, I would probably try to take the two pink, hope that the two blue are gonna be there on the next turn. Say I do get those. And then hopefully on my next turn, that order is still out there. I would have to use the two pink and the two blue to acquire this order. And when I acquire that order, it's gonna go into my pile over here, um, face down so only I know how many points I have. Same thing for my opponent. And then these used cards would come up here to the discard pile. So now I'm gonna go over the all white sardines. So this is an all white sardines. So what that's going to mean is that you're gonna to have to pay four of the same color to acquire this five point order. Now this is a sardine card with multi white sardines with multicolored fins so i could pay four different colors to acquire that one so let's go back to completing an order card once completing an order card take the completing order card and place it face down in front of you or for scoring at the end of the game you may look at your completed order cards but keep them hidden from other players replace the completed order card with a new one from the order deck let's move on to the end of the game the game in triggers when the final order card from the order deck is placed face up on the table. So let's say, just for a visual reference, let's say this is out of here. We've got one card left in the deck. Once this card flips and hits that, that is going to trigger the end of the game. Each player takes one more turn, including the player who triggered the end of the game, to complete a single order card if they can. Proceed to scoring. Scoring and winning. The player with the most total recognition points if there is a tie for most, the tied player with the most completed orders wins. If there is still a tie, the player with the most sardines in their hand wins. If there is still a tie, the youngest tied player wins. All right, guys, so that is Sunny Day Sardines. Do keep in mind that when you're watching this, this is a prototype um, or the, the pre-production copy before it got picked up uh, by the new publisher. Um, I love this game. A friend of mine made the game, so maybe there's a little bias there. But to be honest, I'm honest with my friends. Like, if it's shit, it's shit. But this game is is pretty solid. You can only take two actions, so it's easy for the game for the kids to pick up. Um, when we don't know what to play, we put this on the table and we'll just play this, and then that'll give us time to think about what we want to play while we're playing this. So that's this is kind of one of our filler games. Um, it's super fast. It's micro. You can fit it in your pocket. I mean, you know, if people were going to carry around skull all day, you could carry this around. Um, you know, like if you're going camping or something like that, this is an easy one to pack up. Um, and I've got other micro games up here that this is going to join the party. Um, I love the game. I was super excited uh, to see a friend of mine get published and a game be out there. Um, and no details, but there's some more coming on the way that he's working on. I'm pretty excited and pretty stoked about that. So watch out for my next video. Um, I am going to ask him before I post this video, but the new nickname that's coming out is called the Kill Card, I do believe. I've only seen pictures. Uh, there's a copy on the way. So guys, watch out for my video for that game, the Kill Card. And uh, also follow me on Twitter and I'll post about whether, you know, there's going to be a Kickstarter or a Game Found, which is the new website that I've not been on yet. Um, and there's also some other stuff in the background that I'm going to plug real quick. We are working on a brand new office, which is not really an office. It's my 30 foot travel trailer that we're going to start filming in um, just to make it easier without having bird noise and stuff like that in the background. If you guys have any questions about that, just let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. And uh, follow us on Board Game Geek. It's under Geeked Up Gaming, so it's my 2011 handle. So we are we are coming back as Geeked Up Gaming Tabletop. 
There's a new Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I did make a new Facebook. Also, guys, check out the Facebook group now standing at 1.1 thousand members. It is Board Game Reviewers on Facebook. So you have a project that you'd like to share on there. You're looking for someone to review your game. We can find somebody. You want to talk about game mechanics or anything like that, let us know. All right, I'm off of here. I'll see you guys later. Jeremiah, fantastic game. I've told you that since I've gotten the copy. And I'm glad to come back and make videos and, and make you my, this be my second video coming back to YouTube. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.